Lesson 9 1 basic terms and this is basic terms for circles uh, the hardest part about circles is drawing one so we'll have a contest about how to draw the perfect circle but today we're going to start with some terms about circles and then we'll go from there so let's make a circle out here and circle as a center not too bad Definition of a circle is um, all points equidistant from one point known as the center. And we often label the center point, we often label it O. What's a radius? It's a segment from the center to a point on the circle. So this would be a radius. Now before we do diameter, I'm going to jump ahead and do chord. Chord is a segment. from one point on a circle to another point. On the circle. So this would be a chord from here to here. And a diameter is simply a chord that goes to the middle. Or I should say through the center. And it's a uh, diameter is equal to two times the radius. I'll have to abbreviate that one because I'm starting to run out of space. Secant is a line that passes through the circle. So this would be a secant. And finally, a tangent is a line that touches the circle once at one point.
So this would be a tangent. Those are the big definitions. We'll do a couple other little things, but make sure you understand those and you're pretty much good to go for this unit. So here's those couple other things. How do we notate a circle in geometry? And it's pretty simple. We just do a little circle with a dot in the middle. Told you it's hard to draw a circle. There we go. Of course, I always want to do this. You know. But no, that's not what we're doing. Does this mean circle? Similar to this meaning parallelogram. Now, what's a sphere? And the only problem with sphere is that I can't say it. I get stuck on the SPH, but I'll have to do. It's a 3D circle. The definition is the set of all points equidistance from another point but in the 3d system uh, you don't need the definition but you do need to know how to draw one so circle give it a belt give it a dotted belt in the back and there it is that's a sphere So, what makes two circles congruent? And it's simple. All you need to make two circles congruent is the same radius. Turns out that all circles are similar. Because remember, those two circles are similar to themselves. And the scale factor is just the radius, the radii compared to each other. What are concentric circles? They're just circles that are inside each other. So you have. Warned you about drawing circles. Circles, you could have one like this where they're tangent on the inside, or you could just have a pair of circles that are just inside each other with the same center. Those are what we call concentric circles. And finally, take a polygon. I like going with a four sided polygon. and place it inside of a circle. Or you place a circle outside of it. Doesn't matter. We like to say that the polygon has been inscribed inside the circle. And the circle has been circumscribed about the polygon. Just nomenclature, make sure you understand it. So this lesson really doesn't have a lot of what I would call math in it, but you have to get started somewhere with circles. So good luck.